Okay, in this um, video we're going to work out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of tangent of 2x plus cotangent of 2x quantity squared dx. Now right off the bat, we cannot um, see any obvious substitution here. I've got a tangent, I've got a cotangent, and so there's not going to be an obvious substitution. So for that reason, we have to take another approach. All right, since this is a essentially a binomial quantity squared, I'm going to actually foil this quantity out and manipulate from there and then integrate. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to foil this out. And I'm going to go ahead and show all the steps because the foil's kind of nasty here. So we're going to do the tangent of 2x plus cotangent of 2x. And it'll be that quantity times the tangent of 2x plus cotangent of 2x. So basically all I did was write that expression down twice so that we can foil it out. Alright, so on first terms I will have a tangent squared of 2x. Alright, we can do um, outside terms and inside terms since they're both going to turn out the same of a tangent and a cotangent there. We'll just have two of them. So plus 2 tangent of 2x and then cotangent 2x and then multiplying last terms there we'll have cotangent squared of 2x. Alright, now in this center one I'm going to replace this with its reciprocal identity so that we can get some things to cross out. So leaving the first term alone, tangent squared of 2x plus 2 tangent of that 2x. Now replacing this with the reciprocal identity of 1 over tangent of 2x that's going to allow us to do some crossing out right there. The last term there on the end will be cotangent squared of 2x. All right, so hopefully you realize that the tangent of 2x there crosses out. So rewriting now, I'm going to have the tangent squared of 2x plus the 2 that was left in the middle plus the cotangent squared of 2x. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use some of our Pythagorean identities. We're going to take a look at this tangent squared of 2x and this cotangent squared of 2x. Both of those have uh, substitutions that I can do that pertain to the reciprocal identities. So for tangent squared of 2x, I can replace that with secant squared of 2x minus 1. I'm going to still have that plus 2 in the middle. And then replacing this with its... Um, Pythagorean identity, I can have a cosecant squared of 2x minus 1. Now I can take a look at minus 1 and minus 1 and plus 2, and I can see that all three of those now are going to cross out, leaving me with a secant squared of 2x plus a cosecant squared of 2x. All right, so basically what that means is I've taken this expression, I have foiled it out, and I've gotten down to this. So now I can use this as what I am going to integrate. Okay, so let's make some more room here and go over here. So now it becomes the integral of secant squared 2x plus cosecant squared 2x dx. All right, now at this point, hopefully you're seeing it's going to be an obvious u substitution here. So we're going to let our u be our inside function. So u is going to be 2x. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. du equals 2dx. And if I go ahead and solve for dx, I'll have a du over 2 equals dx. Okay, from there I can go up to my original integral and do some substituting. So I'll have the integral of secant squared u plus cosecant squared u. And then replacing dx with what it equals, I will have a du over 2. Okay, I can pull out this 1 half. So 1 half times the integral of secant squared u plus cosecant squared u du. I am now to the place where I can integrate. And I can integrate both of these pretty easily. Hopefully you have them memorized. The integral of secant squared is going to be a tangent. The integral of the cosecant squared is going to be a negative cotangent. Okay, so I'll have the one half that's out in front. And I'll have a tangent u here. And then minus 
the cotangent of u and then with a plus c at the end. I can replace my u's with what we originally let it be. So there's a 1 half and then tangent of 2x minus cotangent of 2x. And then I can go ahead and distribute that 1 half. So we'll have a 1 half tangent of 2x minus a 1 half cotangent 2x and then plus c for a final answer. So in all honesty, the actual integration was not that hard. Um, getting started maybe, realizing that you needed to foil that out. There was actually just as many steps foiling that out as there was doing the actual u substitution for that integration. So definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please be sure and share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.